values are only useful when they're controversial, right? So, you know, there, there are companies that write out these value statements that I think are kind of meaningless because they're table stakes stuff. I mean, people are, it's like, be honest. It's like, of course you're gonna be honest. I mean, that's not a choice, right? That's not a, that's not a value, you have to be honest, right? I mean, like, go home if you're not honest. But if, um, move fast is good because it's something that people can actually disagree with, right? And yeah. there are companies that don't move fast and that succeed, right? And I think, um, you know, in our, in, in, what I really mean by move fast is that I want to empower people at the company to try things out, and I don't demand that every iteration of what we release is perfect. What I would optimize for is um, learning the most and having the best products three, five, seven years from now, right? Which you can do by iterating quickly, um, getting feedback, learning, and going from there. And I mean, there are companies that have very different approaches than that. I mean, I think yeah. Apple would would never launch something that didn't meet their perfection bar, and it served them incredibly well, right? So I think you know, move fast is, is a very nice kind of it, it. You can meaningfully disagree with it, and I think it leads to interesting outcomes. Now, in terms of what we're doing, um, I think it's incredibly powerful inside our company. I mean, what it, what it leads us to do is build a ton of infrastructure that empowers engineers to try a lot of stuff. So I mean, at any given time, I mean, we have this testing framework where. Well, there are thousands of different versions of Facebook running, and any engineer is empowered to try something out, and they get this report of how it performs on all of the metrics that we care about, all of the you know, sharing, and time spent, and engagement, and amount of friends that people have, and amount of money that we make, and it even, for every test that we run, it'll kick off a qualitative survey to that set of people, and ask them like how happy they are, and how much they like that version of Facebook. So that's really empowering, right? Because now if you're an engineer and you're trying something, you don't have to like get approval of a bunch of different layers of management. You just go try something, and then when it works, you here it works. Cool. Let's turn it on for everyone. Okay, so and this is a surprise to you. You don't know what I'm looking at right now, but explain this sign that's up at Facebook. Actually, I don't know for sure it is, but I believe it is. And if it isn't, you'll tell me because this doesn't say move fast. Slow down and fix your shit. Yeah. Yeah, well sometimes you have to and do this, that. Is this a sign you put up? I don't know if this no. is the camera. I don't actually, I don't put up any of this. You can see this. It's a camera, can I get it? But have you seen this sign? Is it up there? Um, yeah, people yeah. put stuff all over the campus. Yeah. Um, so this doesn't mean anything official. Um, I mean, I definitely want us to fix our stuff. <laughs> your stuff. <laughs> so, so that's good. Um, you know, it's, it, these things are valuable when they're controversial, right? And um, it doesn't mean that we always need to do it. And it's not like any company wakes up in the morning and they're like, we want to move super slowly, right? So what, what I want this to mean for us is that we want to build our culture and our infrastructures that we just try to move, you know, one or two clicks faster than, than other companies. And, you know, sometimes we go too fast and we mess up a bunch of stuff and then we have to fix it. No, that's cool. Would you consider home so far a failure? Um, you know, one of the toughest things is determining